I joined ECHO not only to continue to make sure that we're fighting for our water, our soils, our plants, our animals, our community, the next generation, but also advocating the importance on all levels in generating the next, next Latinos moving forward. The Hispanic Conservation Leadership Council continues to make strides, whether it be in Washington, D.C., in my own state of Colorado, or even my own community of Conejos County. But being in D.C. Uh, for my first time going to some of the USDA building, or for instance, going to and advocating for not only for our food, our fiber, and our, our land and our water is huge. But also going to D.C. and advocating as, an, as a Latino come from the San Luis Valley, um, as a former state representative, I've been to D.C., but never in those realms or those government official buildings. We always went for conferences, but never in a realm advocating to Congress and our senators. We need to have more Latino representation and our culture represented in D.C. so we can make, we can make sure that the next generation has that uh, education moving forward. To me, it's more about my community in the Rio Grande, the Rio Grande watershed and basin, uh, putting efforts towards um, stream restoration, uh, putting more towards the ecology, the biology, the fish, um, the habitat, wildlife, and making sure we have education on the ground for Colorado Parks and Wildlife, especially that next generation of hunters, anglers, individuals who are willing to get outdoors and hike and be with nature. And the main thing is being outdoors to um, see what Mother Nature has to offer. And then in Versi for Echo is, you know, the main thing is, is educating individuals from our family to our friends to our neighbors about the importance of outdoors, but the importance of advocating for our way of life, our culture, our traditions. People ask me about what's Echo. To me, we're all Echo in more ways than one and we're all striving for a better tomorrow.